been the last day of our exhibition for Omar Richardson, My Story, My Truth. It's been really an honor to feature Omar's work in our gallery space, and we're so pleased to have you all here celebrating diversity, especially as this is the last day of Black History Month. It talks about cultural identity, human emotions, identifying different aspects of human emotions and, and cultural identity. One of the things that you'll see in the show is called A Peace Call, A Lost Past and A Forgotten Future, which tap into different things about me as an individual, how people in general sometimes forget where they're from or forget who they are and so, so caught up into technology and caught up into the modern world and don't understand the history of who they are as a person and a human being or the, the cultural aspect of their family or where they're from. There's one that I just looked at recently. It's like a monkey wrapped around a snake. And it's, pre it's pretty cool because the snake blends in and then you like finally spot it. Hey, when you think of printmaking, I think of like the 1800s. So it's a very old technique and it's very labor intensive. So to spend that much time on one piece um, it is very um, inspiring. And anyway, I particularly like the three over here where he's, you know, has a juxtaposition of uh, the modern world with the ancient world or you know, the older world. Um, so it, it, um, it, like you said, he's tapping into his culture and but putting a modern spin on it. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight um, to actually look and be a part of this body of work when um, Amanda first sent me the news that that I was actually nominated, I thought at first it was a, a spam mail or something like that. <laughs> I was 18 when I did this photo, and, and this was done with film. Who all remember film? I don't think anybody remember film cameras. <laughs> did you think I cheated on you? And she gave me this expression of this world that she looked directly at me, and then I snapped the camera. I like, snap it, right? But then I wanted to show, because <laughs> I don't know what she was thinking, but I tried to capture it. Now the story with this, I asked my niece, once again an uncomfortable question. Uh, my niece lost her sister at uh, 10 months. And I asked her a question, she was laughing at first when I was taking the picture. And that's the model print you see over there, was her end expression when she actually was sad. It was one with my son, which is six foot, and the other one is my niece. 